a 600-year-old sole fortress wall along the Bukang mountain. The city walls were originally erected for defense and security purposes, just to protect the city and its citizens from any potential invaders. Recently, the Kirin city walls have been in the spotlight as a tourist destination, receiving high praise for its scientific and aesthetic structures. In particular, the Hwasong Fortress surrounding the center of Suwon City is extremely popular. It is considered unparalleled in the history of Kirin City walls and was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In the historically significant city of Suwon with its Hwasong Fortress, Suwon Kalbi is a specialty you definitely don't want to miss out. Suwon is Korea's first planned city and the most beautifully walled city in all South Korea. Hwasong Fortress, the fortified wall around the historic city that symbolizes the reforms of the later part of the Joseon dynasty, looks like a work of art. Hi everyone, welcome to Suwon City. This place, the Hwasong Palace, was made 200 years ago from the Jongjo King. And when we see the castle wall, who is around all the city, we can know how much the Chengzhou one loves his people. So come with me and let's take a look of Suwon City. Bye! In Hwasang, a variety of martial arts from the Joseon dynasty are reenacted twice per day. You can sense the valor and spirit of the soldiers of that era while watching the Muya Ishipsaki, the 24 military arts mastered by royal forces during the reign of King Chengzhou. They consist of 1,026 moves with spears, swords, and staffs. These martial arts were intended to be used in actual warfare, and the moves are simple and dynamic. I think it was a good opportunity for me and for him, even though I know a lot of Korea. For me, it was the first time, and I got more in touch about the ancient Korea. And for him, as first experience, I think it's very good. Hwasong Hengung is known as one of the largest and most beautiful temporary royal lodges in Korea. The Bong Sudang is the royal chamber at Hwasong Hengung designed for praying for the longevity of King Jongjo's mother. King Jongjo wished for the well-being of his people to such a degree that he handed out cows to the people after the completion of the fortress and allowed them to pay back the debt when the cows produced calves. This royal policy led to the establishment of the famous cattle market in Suwon. Home to one of the largest cattle markets in the country, a variety of beef dishes have been developed here in the city. One of them is the local specialty, Suwon Kalbi. The secret of Suwon Kalbi lies in the marinade recipes that have been handed down from generation to generation at local restaurants. In Suwon, a salt-based marinade which helps retain the texture and fresh color of the beef has evolved. Soy sauce is never used. Only salt, sesame oil, garlic, and black pepper are added to boost the flavor. The texture and flavors of beef reach their peak after three days of marinating at low temperatures. Suwon Galbi stands out for the size of ribs. The ribs are sliced into 15 centimeter segments, and the meat is filleted in layers to form uniformly thin slices. <laughs> Suwon Galbi was served at the breakfast table of King Jongjo on the second day of his visit to Hengu. 
the cuisine and its 200 years of history have become a specialty in this city of Kalpi. No other dishes can beat these marinated ribs grilled over an open fire. Suan Gaibi preserves the traditional method of cooking to enhance the unique texture and flavors of beef. What's special about suwon kalbi tang is that it is made from cuts from a single bone simmered over a low flame for over 12 hours. The hot clear broth containing pieces of ribs and meat is enough to fill the stomach. Traveling around the city, it's hard to miss the Hwasong train. The front of the train is shaped like a dragon to signify King Jongjo, and the passenger cars resemble the palanquins that carried the king on his excursions. You can sit back and watch the beautiful landscapes of Hwasong on the train tour between Mount Paldal and Yeonmude. Facilities for military training still remain within the fortress. One of these is Yeonmude, a large training field where soldiers honed their archery skills. Korean traditional archery, called gukgu, was one of the most important martial arts as the long-range weapon system of the day. On every excursion to Hengu, King Jongjo enjoyed archery training at Yeonmude. Now visitors can have a chance to draw a bow here too. Hengung Dong Mural Town is located near the fortress. After Hwasong was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this once dilapidated neighborhood was reborn as a popular tourist destination in the city, thanks to its charming mural paintings. This alternative space, which opened 10 years ago as part of efforts to revive the community, has become a cultural venue where artists can dedicate themselves to creative work. 면주사라는 실제 부적에 쓰이는 재료인데요. 그 돌을 갈아서 만들었어요. 실제 부적은 아니고. 그렇죠. 네. 그래도 기운은 많이 받고 가야겠어. 기운을 많이 받아가세요. 네. 많이 받아야지. <웃음> At the entrance of Paltalmon Market stands the statue of King Jongjo, a ruler who dreamed of creating an affluent society where people can enjoy life. 네, 지금. 뭐 하고 계시는 거예요? 정조 대왕께서 네. 이렇게 불치목이라는 말씀을 해주시면서 우리 그 내가 다스리는 백성들이 이렇게 풍요롭고 아름다운 그 삶을 위해서 즐겁게 취하자는 그런 말씀으로 불치목이라는 말씀을 해주셨습니다. Park Dalmun Market is the only market in Korea that was planned by a king. To establish the city as an economically autonomous town, he ordered famous merchants from all around the country to move to Suwon and freely trade their goods. Many of them were nobles turned merchant, known as Yusang. <laughs> Local merchants who have inherited the legacy of the Yusang at the 200-year-old market perpetuate King Jongjo's dream of a more prosperous and stronger nation. There is a popular fried chicken alley near Paitamun Market. After Chimek, a nickname for chicken and beer in Korean, was heavily featured on a popular soap opera, increased numbers of visitors have swarmed here. Many chicken restaurants more than 40 years old are clustered here. What's unique is that a whole chicken is fried in an iron pot without being battered. The crispy skin and tender flesh of these chickens captivate both the young and old. Wow, 
Thanks to the generosity of the stall owners, people go away with full stomachs. Crispy chicken fried right on the spot and served with beer is enough to wash away the fatigue of a hard day's work. <laughs> Su Wan embodies the vision of King Jung Joo as he dreamed of a prosperous nation through the construction of a beautiful and powerful fortress.